that's irrelevant at this point. During our chat, my people managed to regroup, call for reinforcements. Maybe now they'll start fighting like men. Time to show you. Surround him! And in Ada they are. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? The only person you expect to see in a Nilfgaardian dungeon is the Executioner. Did they torture you? They tried various... things. But they got nothing from me. I traveled half the world to find you. I know it was hard on you. I'll never forget this, you hear? Never. Couldn't you ask your friends from the Lodge for help? Listen, Triss. There's a lot happening in Lochmuin, and it's all happening fast. The fact that I'm here means I'm not helping Yorvith, and I abandoned Saskia. You chose me. In some sense, yes. I fought my way through the Nilfgaardian camp to learn why you lied to me. That's not true. I know about the Lodge. I know the Lodge was behind Demavent's assassination. I know Triss Marigold is a member of the Lodge. It's not like that. Show me the error in my reasoning. I'm a member of the Lodge, just like eight other sorceresses. But if you think I'm responsible for the Lodge's actions, you're badly mistaken. The Lodge is a theater for two actresses, Sheila and Philippa, have long dominated it. To the point where you didn't know about the murder they planned? To the point where I was no longer invited to gatherings. Why? They stopped trusting me. Because you didn't agree with them? Nine women very rarely agree on anything. The actual problem was that... <sighs> Tell me. I was close to you. If Sheila fears anyone, it's Geralt of Rivia. The Lodge did everything to convince me that our relationship didn't bother them, even that it suited them. But they manipulated me. Through me, they fed you select information. Depending on the circumstances, they twisted facts. We're still close. They could still be doing it. Don't insult me. Calm down, Triss. Reynold Ep Matson claimed otherwise, but I'll always take your word over that of some Nilfgaardian lowlifes. Now, you'll tell me everything you know, 
I need to learn the truth. All existing councils of mages disintegrated after the Thanet massacre. We all acted separately. Philippa decided to create a new organization, a secret one this time. When I was sworn in, it never crossed my mind that the Lodge's plans would soon become secret to its members. As you know, Philip was not one for minor undertakings. She presented a plan for creating a powerful state controlled by sorceresses. No wonder the kings are opposing the sorceresses. Nobody likes a schemer. Philippa and Sheila never lacked ideas or enthusiasm. To control a powerful state, they needed to create one first. Or find a wealthy land with a suitable political arrangement and an easily manipulated ruler. Sheila chose the Pontar Valley, Demavend, and Stens. Demavend hated mages. No more than Henselt or Redavid. Sheila and Philippa saw Demavend as the weakest ruler. His son, Stennis, blows hot and cold. Plus, he who controls the Pontar Valley controls the north. So it was in Edirne that a popular rebel emerged, preaching the idea of a new state. At one of our meetings, I just asked how they imagined overthrowing Demavend. After Demavend's death, I became suspicious, but had no evidence. When you went off to meet Yorveth and Sheila was busy with the Karen's carcass, I managed to scan parts of her megascope. That's when I learned that Sheila had... Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to. We never met after that. Letho must have shadowed me when I entered Sheila's room. Then he forced me to teleport us to somewhere near Vergen. Did you talk to him? He wasn't aggressive. In Vergen, he told me that Sheila commissioned them to assassinate Demaven. Them being the witchers of the School of the Viper. Sheila helped them prepare the assassination. I wonder why he told you about it. Is that important? Conspirators who suddenly divulge everything. I'd be suspicious. There was some interference as we teleported to Edirne. I emerged intact, but pretty battered. I met the troll who fell in love with you. He saved me, tended to my wounds. But when he started treating me like a caged canary, I fled. I knew Philippa was in the area. I decided to go see her and lay my cards on the table. Maybe Letho wanted just that. I met a woman at Philippa's house. Thought she was just a servant, or Philippa's lover. Before I could speak, I was overpowered by spells. I hardly expected an attack. The pain I felt as my body was compressed. It's indescribable. As if all my bones were being broken. It's even worse when you return to your true form. In any case, Philippa had no idea her lover was a Nilfgaardian spy. I was carried as that figurine all the way to Loch Nguyen. Asira decompressed me back just before they murdered her. Shillard interrogated me but learned nothing. If it wasn't for you, they'd have had me quartered. I didn't piece the puzzle together until I was here, in the dungeon. Now you know everything. That'll have to do for now. We'll learn more at the talks. You're going to attend? You have no memory of how the world worked before the Thanet Massacre. Actually, I know exactly how it worked. That means... We'll talk about my memory later. All right. If the Council and Conclave still existed, kings wouldn't be assassinated in massacres, normalizing the late... And our only chance. The law... We can... Let's go then. We shouldn't arrive at the same time. Let's split up. Triss. Yes? That was some mess. 